The information design tool is a new modeling tool for the semantic layer that enables you to create and deploy SAP Business Objects universes. In this tutorial, you will review the steps involved in the end-to-end -end process of creating a new universe file, creating a local project, connecting to a data source, creating a schema of tables and joins, creating classes and objects that make up the business layer, and publishing the universe to the repository as a UNX file. Note that this tutorial is based on functionality available in SAP Business Objects Information Design Tool 4.0. Version 14.0.0 v2010-1019-0760. To navigate, use the viewer controls. Start by creating a local project, which is the container that holds all the necessary universe resources, connections, data foundations, and business layers. With the local project in place, you can create a data source connection to connect to SAP BW, OLAP, or relational data sources. Next, create the data foundation, which contains the universe structure of tables and joins. Connect to the existing connection in the local project, extract the relevant tables from the data source, and insert the appropriate joins. Note that a data foundation can be based on one or many relational connections. For OLAP sources, the connection is directly referenced by the business layer, and no data foundation is required. Now create a business layer based on the data foundation. The business layer is mapped to the tables and columns in the data foundation, and contains a collection of classes and objects that represent what end users need to query in their reporting tools. You can create a business layer based on SAP BW, OLAP, or relational data sources. The final step is to publish the universe to the repository as a UNX file, to make it available to end users. Publish the connection first, followed by the business layer, which includes the embedded data foundation. You have successfully reviewed the process for creating a universe using the information design tool. This is the end of the tutorial.